What's up, everybody? Welcome back to My Craziness. I am Jeremy Johnson, the mastermind and the crazy man behind Weld Tech Designs. And also, I'm going to welcome you to Jeremy's World 10 because you are going to also be able to see and hear my voice over on Jeremy's World 10. So in the last two episodes, we've kind of talked about how um, basically why we wanted to start a podcast as well as we brought Caden in on both of those episodes to talk about uh, really how Weld Tech Designs began back in the early 2000, 1999. And as we walked through that blast in the past, it was a ton of fun. But I want to talk about something a little bit more relevant now, bringing us more um, up to date and into the future here as we move forward into Weld Tech Designs. And I would have to say that um, as we look back on Weld Tech Designs and what um, basically how it started and the growing pains uh, that it went through and how it has evolved into what it is now um, comes with the help of not only myself, but today's special guest. And I will have to say that with every great business, I will say that a lot of times that in order to truly have that successful, great business. So as in when we get into talking more about just the obstacles that you will face as an entrepreneur in the work life balance, um, you know, that is definitely the greatest obstacle in entrepreneurship 100%. And if anybody tells you different, um, they do not have a family or they are not married. And that's the key word right there is being married. So today I have <laughs> the proud pleasure of me convincing this beautiful lady across <laughs> from me Finally. to the podcast. Oh my gosh. It was like, I had to like bribe her. <laughs> so without further ado, I welcome you Rachel Johnson. Well, hello. I'm super excited. I'm a little scared though. A little bit scared. Yeah, because I don't know what you're gonna say. I I don't what, even know what I'm. Me? I don't even know what I'm gonna say. And that's the fun thing we always say about this podcast is, um, it's really unscripted. I want it to be just a fun time where two people get to hang out, maybe talk about things that they wouldn't normally talk about and without the interruption. So as we hang out in what we're calling the attic here at Weld Tech Designs, um, you know, I look forward to having all kinds of fun guests. So I am going to take a blast down memory lane. <laughs> I, I should find that. Oh, wait. <laughs> you know, that whimsical down memory lane. And um, I guess let's talk about you know, in order for people to completely understand us or our relationship or um, the the difficulties in that work-life balance, um, let's talk about how we met. Oh, do, do, boy. Do. So, you know, every relationship has two totally different, um, per, not perceptions, but it well, would, are we going to talk about how we met the first time or how? No, we, like, we'll just we'll just go into the second one. You know, I mean. <laughs> Um, and the first time was, we just met through mutual friends, I would say, you know, per se. But, um, I think it's funny when you talk to a lot of people about their relationship, it'd be like, how did you meet? And they'd be, you know, the guy's going to be like, say one thing. And the girl's like, no, we didn't. We totally met this way. And it's just always well, funny. What are you going to say? How did we meet? Well, I would say that we met through personal friends. Originally, you went to school with my younger brother. Um, so she knew about me because <laughs> it was a big deal here in East County, you know. Well, it was everybody East County knew famous. about 983 clothing, so that's why. So that's going to be a whole nother topic we'll have to talk about in another one would be, um, and that's a great one because it is a business that I started that um, ultimately failed or didn't, you know, I wouldn't maybe say failed, but it brought, um, it educated me a ton. And I think with any kind of education, you can't consider it a failure. So yeah, so with the 983 clothing, um, and we did touch base on that in the first podcast, talking about that and the icon and how we still use that symbol in Weld Tech Designs right now. So back to you. So we, from 983, and then... Well, I'm just going to say we met on social media. Yeah, totally. We met you on like, Facebook. 
you like were like stalking me on <laughs> Facebook, you know, and I was just trying to live the I single life. I don't even life. know, like suggested friend, and I'm like, oh, I remember him. It's a dude. I'm single. What the heck? Click and he messaged. He messaged me first. I didn't pursue him. Oh, I just boy. said, here Add we go. Friend. Here we go. See. And then he was like, oh hey, how's it going? And it just went from there. So in our conversations, I um, Austin just ripped his head. On the <laughs> ceiling, he's standing on the couch right now. I wish Austin, I had a. You're not that short. I wish I had a camera <laughs> just to go over to him and so that. So, um, and I remember one of the biggest things in that I love is how different I would say we were at that point in life. Yeah. Um, very not like oh, you know, a lot of couples I think will be like oh, we were like completely the same, and it was yeah. very opposite. Well, I think even now, I mean, we're so different. But even where we were in life was so different. Definitely. And we could talk about that whole gold digger situation. How sometimes maybe I get that persona of, oh, you're just with Jeremy for the money. But it's like I was with Jeremy from the beginning when he had nothing. So you definitely can't say that. Because we could talk about where you were when I met you. Yeah, that's like a whole nother. (laughs) We're going to have to bring that back in. That's like a whole nother podcast. I mean, you were working out of your van. Like, I've been here from the beginning. Well, not from and the now, beginning of well, WellTech, but that's where... Um, WellTech you know, kind of had a little Like, snub. I would say, like, WellTech um, take two, yeah. because definitely that's what happened. The economy was bad when I met you. So, it, and I want to tell, that's like, it's such a great thing, because that is what, when you look at, um, when you set yourself up for business, and me being the entrepreneur that I was, I could never just stay focused on one business. My mind was always like, okay, I want to do this. Like, I want to do this. I want to create new things. And that's always um, been such a big part of my life. Um, Austin just needs to turn the heat down before he just melts in here. He's like just dying over here. We tried to get make it so that Rachel would be nice and warm know, and comfy. I'm good now. So the button on the right, Austin. So, um Definitely, when the economy took a crash in 08, um, our business was completely discretionary income, and we did close down Wild Tech Designs, um, the physical location of Wild Tech Designs, for about a year. And when we did that, um, I basically was working, um, like she said, out of my van. I was going to, um, I was building the Bronco at that po- time. Um, and just doing like little mobile jobs here and there. Right. And so, going, we went back to school. And I decided to go back to school and I decided I wanted to go back to school for psychology. Oh yeah. <laughs> I because, forgot about that. um, I just love the brain and how it thinks and just everything about the human brain just fascinates me. Well, that's why sometimes having a conversation with you, you're like, ah, j- just listen. Stop trying to like analyze everything I'm saying. I don't know what she's talking about. She's crazy. <laughs> she's crazy. Um, no, and that's totally true. Um, I do. And it's not only that, but I think in business, I sometimes overanalyze things. But then I think it can also work to my, um, it's uh, totally lost for words, but it, disadvantage where like sometimes I don't, put enough thought into thing and I just run, you know, full bore at it. Um, kind of like this podcast idea. I know. Like I'm a planner. I wish I would have known like questions. What are we going to talk about? Like, I like to know like what we're doing. Yeah. And I'm, and I'm just, just coming in like, Oh gosh, what yeah, is he going to say? Yeah. And that's, and it's funny it's because I'm the complete opposite where I'm just winging it. Um, for instance, when we did SEMA this year, you were like, hey, did you get a hotel room for the first night? And I'm like, no, it'll be fine. There'll be plenty of hotel rooms. And um, we get to our hotel and they're like, no, sorry, we're sold out. And Austin and I just thought, well, we got this new auto home rooftop tent on our van. So Austin and I go to Walmart and buy sleeping bags and blankets <laughs> and sleep in the Walmart parking lot. Well, we didn't get to sleep in it. We get kicked out of it. And I know that I don't know if we've put that video up yet, have we, Austin? So I'm going to throw up a card right here, and we'll definitely need to add that because it was a riot. Security was just not having it. We got kicked out. So, oh, well, what are you going to do? We had fun. I laugh about it. It was a good time. But you, on the other hand, would have not been okay with that. I'm not sleeping in a Walmart parking lot. (laughs) 
I'd be freaked out. I would think people are coming and going to murder us at any second. It's not happening. I mean, because you see that on the news all the time, like couple murdered in Walmart parking lot while sleeping <laughs> in their auto home rooftop tent. You know, like that I happens. I could totally, yeah, like someone's going to like grab my feet, like reach up in there, grab my legs. Like I'd be freaked out. And just out. pull you yes. out. Yeah, I totally. totally. <laughs> Too many movies. Like, all right, come on, guys. Like, mm-hmm. all right. So that's awesome. All right. <laughs> She's crazy. Um, so, and that's what I think is fun about our relationship. And also I'm sure drives you crazy in our relationship is <laughs> the lack of, you know, planning. Um, because even when it comes to our kids, um, which is going to, we're not even there yet. So we're still going back. We're in like circa 2000. I'm an introvert. You're an extrovert. I don't know what she's talking about. I'm, I'm totally shy. You're loud and crazy. You drive me nuts sometimes. Like bring it down. And I know even sometimes your fans say the same thing, like a little too loud, simmer it down. Come on. <laughs> she's never watched one of my videos. Yes, she does not know what I'm ta- she's talking about right now. So, um, when Caden watches them, I watch them. Oh, okay. See, there you go. <laughs> so, um, then it brings us to, you know, so 2011. So we started dating and we were so happy and in love um, and then we actually, 2010, we started dating in like mm-hmm. August. Um, and in 2011 on August 26, boom, I know the date. Yeah. How many of you husbands out there can just <laughs> rattle off that date like that? But we she got get, married two months after we got engaged. Yes. Yeah, so fastest wedding ever. Dude, she killed, see planner in her. She was like, okay, boom, 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 boom. Everybody was like freaking out. I'm like, I got this. Yeah. I can do this. And they were like, why would you ever marry Jeremy Johnson? Like, he's crazy. <laughs> like, he is, you do not want to be with that guy. Like, he's going to cheat on you. He's going to leave you. He's going to break your heart. Ten years later. Oh, still. still good. <laughs> <laughs> but everybody will say like, oh, he's so different now. Now that he's with you, totally different person. We never really wanted to hang out with him before, but now we'll bring him around. All because of me. I think I like gave you a better life. Like you have more friends now because of me. <laughs> I brought out the better in you. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. Like I used to just so be true. a dirt bag. And now that, you know, now you're not a dirt bag anymore because you married me. I don't think it was like you were a dirt bag. I think people, you were just crazy and loud and maybe drank a little more than you do now and people were just like i probably I drank a lot more see and deal. that was like the single jeremy was just wild a crazy party man and now we brought out the family man i mean you still like to have fun but it's just toned down a notch well and that's I think like even like that when we more. ran into this year at sema we ran into dana and dana used to run general tires and mm-hmm. she even was like okay like, never would have thought you're gonna have four kids yeah, and be all, this like businessman. Yeah, she was like, you were the wild and crazy one that every time yeah. when we would go out, it's like, it was run here he comes, <laughs> don't let him see you. <laughs> I and and that was the problem is, um, I guess being the extrovert that I was, I was like no problem going out and introducing myself. Well, and you don't or care talking. what people think. Well, I do care what people think. I wouldn't say that I completely don't care what people think, but if people don't like you, you're like whatever. Yeah. Um, I mean, because I have to just live my life. But I, I think want that's to. why you're a good businessman. It's because you don't care what people think. And that's probably the number one quality you have to have. Right. Because my goal is to succeed. Yeah. And I know that I'm going to fail a whole bunch in order to succeed. But I remember, I, I will never forget this. Um, and I won't name names, but I'm going to bring them on the podcast one of these days so I can bring them out. I will never forget watching the Super Bowl. Um, and this would be circa like 2000, maybe even 99. And I went over to Leo's house and we were watching the Super Bowl. And some going to say names. I know, but I'm a, we were just at Leo's house. Leo oh, wasn't okay. the one that was. Um, but they were like, they were like, I'm like, I think I'm going to start my own business, you know? And they were like, what? You're crazy. You don't know what you're doing. And I'm like, I know, but I'm just going to go for it. And we touched base in that, in that podcast number two, where it was like, it started in that garage and it was just me and a couple friends building stuff, having fun. Like it was never intended to really be a business. Um, I had a really good job at the time. Um, I was a union iron worker. I went through the apprenticeship. I learned how to weld. Um, 
So, you know, being a journeyman iron worker, I was making really good money. And I will say that I probably made better money doing that than even being a business owner. It just wasn't what I well, loved. The passion wasn't like, there. like, you're crazy. Yeah, People probably. don't like change and they don't like to go out of the norm. And the norm is to work Monday through Friday, nine to five. And it now was, you're it gonna, was more like seven to three. And now you're going to change it up and start your own business. Like who does that? No, completely. And I had never really started my own business business in the form of like my own, like a real business. And, um, and even now she's like, she'll tell me this. She's like, you just go to work with your friends. Like, it's not <laughs> even like a real job. Like you just get to like, I don't say that it's not a real job. I just say your job isn't hard. <laughs> My job is. I don't think I would. Do you, I hope that we can hear Austin. I would way rather come do your job and not have a boss looking over me and I have to be clocked in and clocked out at a certain time, lunch at a certain time, than do what I do. Okay, but let's go. So, I, and I know we're skipping all around here, but you came and worked here for like two months when we did not have an office manager. I never said it was hard. Oh. And I probably shouldn't say this, but I didn't like some of your customers. I, some of them are a complete pain in the butt. <laughs> but that's the whole thing is I think. I don't like customer service. And that's where like we really try hard. Like, I mean, don't get me wrong. A, re a lot of reason is why we decided to make a podcast even is to really try to get intimate with our customers to give yeah. them more information because a lot they of. They don't understand what is going on here. No. Like this isn't. Board. Like there's not 50 people and it's like a robot here building your parts. Like this is all custom made parts and nobody gets that. And so when their 100%. stuff's not ready tomorrow and Amazon primed in two days, then they're pissed off. So yeah, if they see like the real deal, that it's one dude that only knows how to make your bumper and he's got 20 bumpers to make, then yeah, I think they would probably be a little bit more understanding and not calling you, cussing you out that it's taking too long. And that's where maybe we need to get Austin doing some and more. And I always like, told you, like, you have to tell them, like, what is really going on here. And that's where it's like, it's such a, a blessing in disguise. Like, yeah. I mean, I'm not going to, you know, like. Like, I, you're buying Well Tech Designs. Well Tech Designs is Jeremy Johnson. It's not Joe Schmo down the street just building any kind of bumper. Like, do you want something cool or what? It's yeah, gonna take hello. Time. I want something cool. <laughs> like, hello. Um, and no, and that's been like the biggest obstacle of this is, you know, trying to grow this because it was such a me yeah. thing. Um, so I want to, you know, as we really tie in like, you know, the core of our family too. Um, so in 2011, we got married. So um, as we continue this blast down memory lane, um, in 2011, we got married. And of course, one of my um, biggest passions in life is going to be children and you'll see that. And that's why it's such an important part of my life to have, um, Caden here and Kendall and obviously Kylie's too little. And even Kira yeah, comes I feel here like sometimes. I can't live up to Caden's podcast. Yeah. I mean, like how can I be that? Dude, I mean, you gotta, <laughs> so I don't think because that was the, the drum snare in it would just, well, I would, I would, laughing. yeah, he was just busting up cracking. And I well, mean, he's it, so cute. So of course everybody's going to want to watch that. Yeah. You're kind of cute too, you know? <laughs> and that's where I'll start getting the like, I don't know. I get a lot of haters when I come on any type of social media of yours. I know. And that's where they'll be like, so this could be like really bad. Yeah. So we'll have to post up a picture um, of it because when we posted a picture of her with our van at <laughs> SEMA, okay. And she had like a tube top on and, I mean, she looked good, you know, but it but wasn't I'm like in Vegas for one. And it wasn't anything completely and two, crazy. A 16 and up car show. And my boobs, let's just say it, weren't even hanging out that much. No, not even. Not compared Compa to the night outfit. I was going to say, compared to what Vegas has and what people are dressed not like, even I was Vegas, pretty like civil. The SEMA show itself, like every girl there is dressed completely yeah. scandalous. But I like just got all the models ripped so to shreds. So we posted up some pictures on um different you know van um pages on uh facebook and it was like oh my god i can't believe this like yeah you're i mean i got everything to slut gold digger you abuse me you take advantage of me i make you wear those you make clothes you wear those clothes yes. i'm just with you for the money but then it, i'm just some model in front of a car that's what the other funny one was it was like 
Yeah, anybody can get just some model to stand in front yeah. of their car. Well, what was funny is it was my camera. You weren't wanting the picture. I wanted the picture for my own social media. Asked you to take it with my camera. And people were thinking, like, you're making me do this. And I'm just a model. Like, it's my husband taking the picture. He knows what I look like, what I'm doing. It's his car. Like, chill out. So if you guys are totally curious now... I mean, if you're listening to this simply on the podcast, because if you're watching this on YouTube, you're going to obviously be able to see what she looks like. But I'm going to just let's get into like your little side hustle here. Like so you on um, Instagram is going to be Rachel Christine. And then also on YouTube, you could go over there and Rachel Christine. So. But what, what happened to, what was the other one? Beautiful, I can Well, that yeah. was when I was doing more like fitness stuff and I'm not, I'm trying to venture more into like beauty and fashion and makeup. So I've, I'm just, I'm the brand now. Rachel Christine is the brand. Got that's it. What, I got rid of this name. And See, now. maybe that's what it was, was <laughs> she's doing her own brand thing. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, Jeremy Johnson, ten, Jeremy's World 10. Yeah, copy me. Yeah, what's up? See, like. You guys wonder where I get my inspiration from? It's right there. <laughs> like, that's it. Boom. This is the girl right here that keeps me going. Um, so I want to touch base on this because um, I think that this would be something great if you guys want to see more of her, um, want to even know more about this story. But to me, it was something huge. So we were um, trying to get pregnant for mm-hmm. over a year. And I mean, I'm... I'm going to let her talk because you guys don't like me anyway. So, I mean, let's let her tell the story. Well, I mean, it was over a year of trying. And any woman that's ever had infertility issues, it's one of the most, like, crushing things ever. And we don't want to get all emotional on a guy's podcast. Yeah. But um, we finally went to Hawaii, and that's where we finally got pregnant with Caden. See, so. And that's how he got um, his name. Brian. Brian Cherie, who owns a place. See, so, Brian, I'm totally calling you out. You know, I'm like, hey, maybe there's a way I can get another baby. You need to <laughs> hook me up with your rental property out there. Not happening. Um, you know, maybe if anyone else is looking for a rental property in Maui, hit up Brian. We have four kids now. I well, know I it. have four. He only has three. We have three together. So I feel like maybe that's why he wants another one. But I'm good. And technically. I'm really good. So. And you say that I only have three, so that'd be three biological, but yeah. really I do have four. Um, well, yeah. I, I've been with you since Kira was three years old. Um, I definitely consider her my daughter, mm-hmm. um, especially because now getting into the teenage years, I want to wring her neck. <laughs> um, and that's something that, fun. you know, like, oh my goodness. So all of you people that yeah, have teenagers, advice. yeah, give us the we, advice. Leave some comments. Every day and, we're like, are we doing this right? Are we messing up? And that's what like, um am I a horrible mom? Yeah, and I go, God, I'm like, is this what let's pay back? That's yeah, why I, we have three girls. Because it's gonna be total payback. For I how was you such were. a good kid. Like I'm gonna bring uh, <laughs> my mom in on this podcast yes, now. You were a good kid, and the second you turned eighteen, I don't know what happened. As soon as you were an adult, it was just downhill, and that's why God is paying you back. And that's why you got three really cute blonde girls. I know, but I lo- <laughs> my girls are the sweetest thing. I mean, don't get me wrong. My son is sweet, and he is the most loving sometimes. son. And but he's also crazy. And I he's a little um, shit sometimes. Yeah, he is. He is. A, <laughs> he totally can be. I agree. But Kendall and Kylie are just the sweetest thing in the whole world. I wish Kira was a little bit sweeter, but. You know, as she gets older, I, I know. I think it's an age. Well, yeah, I it mean, totally actually, is. No, I shouldn't say it's an age thing because she's always been a little. She's a little bit more standoffish, yeah. you know, so that's definitely. But I think she's more like me. You know, how I kind of have like that wall up a little more standoffish. Don't let you really get in. Yeah, I know. I had to. That was the whole <laughs> beginning. We. I just tried to skip over she's that. She's a little more independent. She's I not tried to skip show over that. that I tried to skip over that in the beginning of this and just kind of avoid that <laughs> whole thing as I've tried to block that out of my head because I'm like, oh my gosh, back in the day. So we got pregnant in um, 2012, mm-hmm. and Caden. So we found out we were having a boy. I can't even tell you how excited I was. I will yeah. never forget that day. Um, leaving sharp and just being like, oh my God, we're having a boy. Like, oh, I can't wait. Well, guy doesn't want a son. Yeah, I mean, 
I mean, that was definitely, definitely true. And then um, 31, 29 weeks 29. into the pregnancy, um, Rachel has her baby shower that day. Mm-hmm. I go out picking. I'm I'm going searching for you signs. You do all your craziness. My craziness gas with gas stuff. And I was out picking that day while she was doing her baby shower. And everything was great. And we go home that night. And we go, everything's good. We go to bed. Um, we well, I shouldn't say everything was good. Like, I definitely was a little uncomfortable and kind of feeling like maybe something was wrong. But, but you I didn't felt like to you my, would, like, intuition. But you felt like you kind of overexerted yourself at yeah, the baby so shower. Yeah, I just needed to... So you were like, relax. ah, maybe I just need to relax yeah. and I'll feel better in the morning. Um, three o'clock in the morning. It was probably two thirty yeah. in the morning. Um, excruciating she, pain, and I was like, we gotta go. And Jeremy, who doesn't really know, like he was like, oh, we're having the baby, like yay, so excited. And should I grab a car seat? And I'm like, no, like this is really bad. Like if I'm having the baby, he he is not coming home for a long time, and hopefully everything goes well, and he even makes it. So being a NICU nurse, I knew it was bad, but I mean, maybe it was a good thing that you kind of didn't really understand what all could go wrong, kind of rainbows and butterflies to you. Um, But yeah, it was a little scary for me. So we never told about that. So you have, so just real quick, you've been a, she works in the, in what you don't know. So NICU. Neonatal intensive care. So I work with the preemie babies or just sick babies in general. Um, And then I also do postpartum nursing as well. And you've done that since... 2011 yeah so since we got together see really see, our careers like took off together yeah and really guys like it wasn't her i was like i got me a sugar mama <laughs> you know like i was like that's What's what up? he was like thinking in the beginning but now i think like things kind of nah, changed. i got me a sugar mama <laughs> mm-hmm, yeah so um granite so then we go to the hospital and this is where um I feel like it was like one of the worst nights of our life, but now, I mean, everything luckily turned out well, and I feel like it was now one of the best nights of our life. I totally agree. And so with that being said, we're going to pause this just for a second right now because I don't want to drag out the whole Weld Tech Designs. For you guys that are watching this on Weld Tech Designs and learning, um, as I'm trying to bring you more into my family, as you guys are part of my family, you know, Weld Tech Designs family. Um, this whole episode is going to continue over on Jeremy's World 10, and that is my new podcast. And the reason being is that um, I really want to know, like, what is it that you guys at Weld Tech Designs want to know more about? Um, what do you guys want to learn about? Like, do you guys find the the background, the history of Weld Tech Designs, what drives Weld Tech Designs, or do you guys just want to know about vans? Because a lot of times when we post these videos, it's like, hey, I just want to know more about vans, and if it doesn't have to do with vans, like, I don't even want to watch it. Like, we put so much good content up about even other products. Um, I'm going to throw out, like, Demo shovels, like, Smitty built coolers, like, um, um, aisle paddle boards. Like, all of these are such good products that I would encourage you to watch these videos because if you're living the overland like van lifestyle, like these are products that I would definitely recommend you looking into doing. There's no benefit in it for me to talk about these things or tell you about them. I mean, yeah, they're cool. I can't wait to get out and use them, but at the same time, like it is what it is. So um, encourage you to watch that. Please comment below. Let me know if you guys like these type of podcasts here on Well Tech Designs, tell me what you want to know more about. Um, and we're going to be doing a lot more stuff like that for Well Tech Designs. But if you want to see the rest of this interview and me talking to this crazy lady behind me, you're going to have to head over on Well Tech Designs um, and go to Jeremy's World 10 and you can see the rest of this podcast. So I thank you guys very much and I will see you guys next time.